That's an old route. It's a bad route. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 1, Episode 13. This is Route 666. First off, again, apologies for taking forever to get around to this. Someone made a comment on my uh, Bloody Mary episode saying, I know this is two years old, and I was thinking, it's not been two years since I reviewed it. I haven't taken that long. And then I saw, oh my god, I have taken that long. That inspired me, so thank you for that comment. <laughs> Route 666 is one of those episodes that clearly is a filler episode. Something that kind of came much more clearer to me through this viewing and thinking about the first season is that it's actually quite surprising that Supernatural was continued after this because when you think about it, the actual amount of time that is spent on the main narrative is almost the same amount that Andrew Dabb has spent on his main narratives. Because there isn't really much there, it's just gotta find Dad and find Yellow Eyes. And that's it. There's so little main story in this season, as well as how many times those recaps are literally the exact same recap that shows nothing about the previous episode, just the first the second and a little bit of the third, to think about how little main story there is in this first season, despite it leading to a successful second, third, fourth, and continuation, it's pretty impressive. Anyways, on the episode itself, this is the one that's kind of looked down on in the Supernatural Verse. It's kind of just a meh episode. It was directed by a guy called Paul Shapiro. He only ever directed one episode of the show. He mainly did stuff on Smallville, but then he just hopped around and done a bunch of different TV shows and TV movies. When the special effects and the scare tactics are done for the truck work, they work very well. And it's pretty simple. It's literally just a few smoke machines behind the truck with a high powered lamp. It gives off that whoa kind of vibe. It kind of reminds me of that Stephen King novel, Christine, or at least a like book art, or maybe they made a movie of it and I can I think I've seen this kind of screen cap before. There are other times though that it doesn't work very well. For instance, they use the exact same angle when they're chasing the first car at the beginning and then when they're chasing the Impala, they probably shot that in the same night. As well as when it's outside the house and it's just like, raw, I'm up to the window and raw, to the door. It's like, I can't go into this house because the budget doesn't allow for it. There is the relationship with Cassie. We see that Dean had a relationship and He's a bit hypocritical since Sam was keeping everything on the down low for so long and then he tells Cassie about the family secret after not too long. So obviously there is this connection between the two. It's not bad. It's kind of this more of a passion thing, like a, f a flame fizzling out, like high burn, but very little density to it. And that's their relationship is why she never came back. This is when the show also tackled a story of race and admittedly they did it pretty good in comparison to what you think about now where it's so heavy handed. This is not too bad. And then there's her mother. And honestly, I go back and forth between this woman. There's times where I think this is really good acting and there's other times like, okay, She's hamming it just a little bit. And I felt the mix of two in this viewing. Sometimes it's very good, sometimes it's a little bit over the top, but I still enjoy the scene and I understand what they were trying to come across with it. Otherwise though, the episode itself is, it's literally remembered more so for its title than anything else. There's nothing that comes back from this episode, there's nothing that really pushes the story at all. It's a decently filmed episode, but it's one of the most forgettable of this entire season. So I'm gonna give Route 666 a 3 out of 7. It's a commendable episode, but I don't know, there's not much that comes from it, and there's just not much in this episode for itself. So these are comments that came from the Faith episode that y'all posted on so long ago. This one's from David D. Simone. Route 666, pretty forgettable episode. It still has the solid humor from season one, and really the first five seasons, but lacks creativity. The only thing I can remember is the ghost truck chasing the brothers at the end. And really, actually, it just chases Dean, because Sam has that whole church line thing. And honestly, they never used that really again, for a while at least, I'm, if I'm correct. I'm trying to remember that priest episode that's going to come up in season two, the, the priest ghost. So we'll see about how that works. Got another comment here from ONIFC Stu123. Yeah, pretty much the, said what I was saying. A racist Christine. One thing that sticks out to me at least is that for the first time seeing past lover for Dean. Yeah, seeing a past lover. And then uh, we got another one here from 
uh, Robahan. It was a pretty dull episode. The anime version of Route 666 is a tad better, oddly enough. So if anyone has uh, haven't seen the anime, it might be worth a watch. It had a bit more comic relief and a deeper story, and Sam and Dean being banned from the town because of a killer ghost Impala that looks identical to Dean's. Plus, they paint the Impala white. Huh. Interesting. I honestly have never actually seen the anime of this show yet. I've never been a big fan of anime, to be honest. So I, that's why I've never been drawn to watching it. But you know, maybe I'll give it a watch eventually. And then we got uh, one more from ADM Root episode. Was that the one with the car drew by itself? Pretty dull episode. So the next episode review is Nightmare and. Reading the description of it, I actually couldn't remember what episode it was, and then I read a little bit more, and I'm like, oh, it's that one! The one with the other sidekick kid. So if you guys have any comments and kind of memories about Nightmare, make sure to post them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to read them off when I do my review of Nightmare, which will be sooner. I have no excuse, I'm re still recovering from the surgery. So give me what you guys remember about the episode being Nightmare, and we'll talk about it in the next episode review. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. If you want to check out any of the other reviews I've done so far for this series, I'll put the playlist at the end of this video. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.